Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Burgers. On today's video, I'm going to be recreating the classic Texas toast, garlic bread, double cheeseburger from Rally's. Depending on where you live, it's checkers. Let's get going. All right, so this burger was released, I want to say it was in 2019 for a limited time, and it was just a really good burger, but it was made with Texas toast. And the Texas toast they used was Prepperidge Farms. And I think that's probably why it was just a limited release because they had probably had some type of collaboration going with Prepperidge Farms. The cool thing is most of the grocery stores I've been to, they sell this toast in the frozen food area. So I bought some. Um, what I'm going to do first, because the the toast is actually probably going to take a little longer than the patties to cook, so I'm going to get these guys going using the um, Blackstone griddle today. And right now, the toast is over like a medium heat. I don't want to burn it. I just want to get a nice toast. So as far as the burners are concerned, starting from left, going to right, the first two I have on a medium-high heat right here where the toast is now, medium heat, far right, the burners are not on. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Nice toast. So now it's time to get the patties on. I have two 80-20 ground chuck patties. Each one is weighing it at a quarter pound. So last time I drove through rallies, I asked, what are they seasoning the patties with? And they said it's a blend of salt, pepper, garlic. So that's what I'm going to hit them with. Right, good toast on the bread. So I have good color coming up the sides of these patties and they definitely bound to the griddle, which is good. There we go. Two slices of American cheese. Cheese is looking great. All right, some yellow mustard. Slice of tomato. Some red onion. Some finely shredded lettuce. Some dill pickle slices. Now for some reason, every time I use ketchup, I get attacked in the comments. It's hated, but apparently it's also loved because I think it's like the largest selling condiment in the United States. Anyway, rallies slash checkers on this burger, they used ketchup. So ketchup and mayo. But you know, when you think about it, you've got ketchup, mayo and mustard, it's burger sauce. I give you the classic Texas toast, garlic bread, double cheeseburger from Rally's slash Checkers. Now, I came prepared to slice this thing in half, but honestly, this toast, it just it's too small. I, I think it would make for two little teeny sandwich halves and it would be kind of ridiculous. So I'm just going to go for it. It's a, I think, very, it's a good looking sandwich. It's good. There's going to be a debate. Is this a patty melt? No, it's not a patty melt. Part of the process of a, of a patty melt is actually being cooked, you know, assembled on the flat top. It's usually just going to have grilled onions, cheese, usually Swiss cheese. This is just, it's a hamburger, but instead of a traditional bun, it has Texas toast. So let's get down to this. It's good. First of all, that toast is so crispy. I mean, you don't get that type of crispiness 
on a regular hamburger bun on the outside. I mean, you can toast the outside of a bun, but it's not going to be the same. Um, as you're bringing it up to your face, you're smelling that garlic butter. And then that's the first thing you taste as you're biting into it. Um, but then everything is just exploding. Um, all that fresh veg in there is really, really good. I mean, it balances everything off. Burgers are great. Um, that red onion, I mean, again, red onion is one of those hate it or love it things. I slice that very thin because it can be very pungent and overpowering. And just those real thin slices was enough to where you get that kind of peppery bite that the red onion has. Then, then, then that cold, crisp lettuce and tomato and that tangy pickle, it's a good burger. I kind of wish that rallies, checkers, would have kept this on the menu. But again, my suspicion is they had a deal going with Pepperidge Farms and you know it was a limited time the deal was so we lose you can make this at home as you can see it was very easy to make and it was worth it um, this is a great burger i'll do it again anyway guys thanks for stopping by if you're not subscribed please do make sure you hit that notification bell if you like the video give it a thumbs up keep those suggestions coming in see you in the next video let me see underground mountain brown ale and it's by founders See you on the next video. Cheers.